Hello everyone, I'm Forecaster Jack Sillen, here to show you a little bit more about how to use our forecast ensemble tools here at weather.us. So I have a video that uh, detailed how to use our ensemble maps, um, including storm tracks and, and things like that. Uh, this video is going to really focus on our ensemble graphs and how to interpret some of the data that you can get uh, with those because those are really valuable tools um, for gauging forecast uncertainties uh, for towns anywhere in the world. So. Uh, to get to the Forecast Ensemble product, you mouse over the Forecast tab here at weather.us, go to Forecast Ensemble, um, and you're going to get a, a page that looks like this. Um, type in any location in the world, um, or click one of these preloaded options here. So I'll look for at the forecast for New York City. Um, and you're going to get a graph like this. Now, there's a lot of information packed into this graph. So um, you can see as I'm mousing uh, over forward in time, um, these numbers down here at the bottom are changing. Uh, and so, um, you know, that shows us that there are going to be different forecast values as you go farther out um, into time. Um, but what do these values mean? Um, so there's a lot of information that you can get from these numbers right here. This is the main run, um, so that's the deterministic model. Um, that's the forecast you're going to get if you look at the Euro model maps that we have at weather.us, uh, also under the forecast tab up here. Um, so if you went uh, over to these this map selection um, and you were to look at the temperature forecast for New York City um, on Monday morning at 7 o'clock, uh, you would get 36 degrees. Um, the ensemble mean is the average uh, temperature forecast of all 51 ensemble members, um, or 50 ensemble members plus one control run. So um, that gives you um, a forecast that kind of accounts for a little bit of uncertainty. Um, but the really valuable information, I think, is down here. Uh, so this, the maximum um, ensemble forecast, so of all those 51 ensemble runs, the maximum forecast at this point is 41 degrees, the minimum 27. Um, these percentile values though are really interesting. Um, so a percentile is basically the uh, chance that a value is going to be above or below a certain threshold. So the 90th percentile means that there's a 10% chance that the temperature will be above this number, um, so 39 degrees. So 10%, um, it's not likely, that's not the forecast, but it could happen. There's a real chance that, that could happen, um, as opposed to you know saying the maximum it could possibly be is you know 50 degrees. Um, this is a number that really could be exceeded. Um, and then the same thing with the 10th percentile. So this is, has a 10% chance of the temperature being lower than 31 degrees. So again, that's not the forecast. That's not what we're expecting. But that's a possibility that you should be prepared for because it does have a, you know, a decent shot at happening, even if it's not what we're currently expecting. So um, you can get these percentile forecasts for a number of different things. Um, snow depth, uh, that's another really good one. So... Um, you can see, you know, we have some light snow coming in, um, and by, you know, the time we get to Saturday, um, you know, there's a chance that it could be 0.6 inches, that's what the deterministic run thinks. The ensemble means a little bit higher, 1.1 inches, but if you're looking for a real range of possible outcomes, um, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get more than 0.6 inches. In fact, there's a 90% chance that you're going to get more than 6 inches, but there's only a 10% chance that you're going to get more than 2 inches. So that gives you a pretty good range as opposed to saying anywhere between a half inch and 3 inches. Um, the percentiles kind of help you narrow the range there. Uh, although uh, if you're looking for um, near absolute certainty, uh, saying that you know, there's an almost 0% chance that we're going to get less than 0.4 inches of snow and that there's almost 100% chance that we're not going to make it to 3.1 inches. Um, you know, so you can look at these if you're if you're really interested in the extremes, um, to look at the max min. But if you're interested in, you know, what's what has a decent chance of happening, um, the percentiles are a really great tool for that. And so you can get these percentiles for a number of different things, um, all these different parameters. We have them for wind gusts. Uh, we have them for pressure and severe weather parameters, precipitation, temperature. So uh, it's a really valuable tool to use. Uh, so again, you can get this forecast for anywhere in the world. Um, just type in your town name into the search box and you will be able to uh, look at the forecast yourself. Hope this was helpful and enjoy using our forecast ensemble tools. Thank you for watching.